I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Okay, I'm not going to Holly's bar because I've been there enough. I think I want to, well, his apartment maybe. I told Dee I wouldn't look into it, but. This is a cool screen with the clock and Big B's back. Like, you know how to really set this up. Oh, it's good that they give us like infinite time to figure this out, but um, let's see. Um, definitely not gonna go to Holly's bar. I got that deal with D where I said I'd not look into it. So maybe Crane's apartment could be the one. Where can we find the witch though? She's not gonna tell us. She might tell us though. Fuck, this is a tough one. His apartment could be a dead end. Ah, this sucks. I hate making these, these tough decisions. I don't know what the right one is. Let's check out Hollywood's bar. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I think that's the best place we're gonna get leads to finding this witch. Because I feel like his apartment's a dead end, but Blue Blueberry's probably gonna go check that out anyways. If Blueberry catches him, then he'll probably hold him, right? So, and then I just, I don't want D to find out that I'm still investigating this. So, let's go to the bar. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perk. Holly will want us to find the kill. I'll you know we'd be kind of a pain in the ass. She kind of reluctantly does help. I hope you know what you're doing. Alright. I got a schedule to keep here. <laughs> Dude, too. What does that say? Wait, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a Sorry, we're going. Okay, well, we're, we're not kicking in the door. We're not gonna knock because they won't answer. You know what happened. Oh, How would she want to hear that? Let's just see if we can. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Here we go. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Come on in, buddy. Yeah, this is a little Friend. weird. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. A little too inviting, but maybe he's got a buzz on. I, I feel like we've been through a lot of these fucking guys. Like, I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend. Weinhardt said you shouldn't mix. You think I give a fuck what that fucking oh guy says? He's got some pain what You say? Come on, would be a buzz, really? kill. I shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. This guy's a lot more pleasant when he's fucking out of his so mind. He shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. Certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off. Yeah. Pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Uh, all right, it's on our side now. Can't say you being there helped things much. Grant, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. Yeah. They got away though, didn't they? 
Whatever. All right. All right. Still find them. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. <laughs> We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? All right. And I will. That's what I like First, to hear. First, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. We'll yeah, throw it back. We'll, you know, help you out with. Why anything. not? Take the edge off. And it doesn't hurt to have these guys fucking the on dead. our side right now. This guy has been a bummer too, so he needs to just loosen up a bit. All right, now help me. Friend, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me All right. about it, huh? Guess you're not no my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. God damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him fucking get my shit out. I'm a ton getting my shit kicked in. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh, wow. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. Uh, and you out knew anyways. for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. Right. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. Now let's put this whole thing to rest, Brad. Right? Now get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Friend. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Hmm. I think I'm just... That was one of those things where... What a day. It was okay when right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Grand won't remember this. That's hilarious use of that little prompt. Cool. Well, she's out. Don't wake a sleeping ogre. Uh, creative alcohol. Cot. Holly. Is that all there is? Uh, we should check under the cot. Maybe. Yeah, okay, there. That's definitely it. That's definitely it. I just gotta snag that quick without waking her. Holly. Uh, I don't wanna wake her. I'm just gonna only look at it. Okay, well, maybe we can move her hand. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Okay, well, she's out. <gasps> yes! It worked! Alright, snag it and get the fuck out of here. Man. 
hard work. It's all grim. It's grim work. You can see uh, it on his face. Uh, oh. Is that you, Woody? Uh, Woody, is that you? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Check this picture out. Oh, it's pretty sad. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. We're gonna play along with her just to give her some closure with that because I don't think the woodsman has the balls to actually, you know, say what's on his mind, so, or, or how he actually feels. But I, I have a feeling that's where the woodsman is coming from, but I just don't think he would actually say it, so. Just Big B is being the branch that connects all of Fabletown. That looks like the glamour. Mm. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's check this little book. This is probably where we're gonna find the information. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight, but I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Big B's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. We, he, he, I do, we I do. I don't know. I don't know why he shows up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faye. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. I don't know, it's kind of nice that we can put that to yet to rest in her, you know? Even though this is a weird situation to be in. Day, and one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, hang up, okay? Okay, here we go. Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before a few days ago... Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Oh, the way to do it. Track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should yeah. try going up to Crane's place. Right. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard. Or you could try at the Tweedles office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. <sighs> I don't want to go to Tim Tom's empty. office. But I think that's where I'm going to have to go because they told us not to, so fuck it, we're going. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Big B. You'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Man. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Uh, I love Jeff this guy. Peter. Great, great to see you. Total stoner. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. 
You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Hmm. Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dump? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Oh, deliver shit. There we go. I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Nice. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Eh. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Uh, puts out the cigarette on the floor and he's got to go brush it away. Man, that's pretty funny. Okay, cool. Well, this is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be because I thought we were going to have an immediate confrontation with Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but it looks like we're in the clear for a bit here. Oh, that's hilarious. They put the wolf face on the box, on the, on the, on the kickboxing bag. Ha ha ha. It's actually a pretty good likeness. <laughs> okay, well, let's check out this file cannon. Let's see if they got a file on a crane. Well, there's a chance they can have a file on. Okay, well, they do have a crane file. Cinderella. Brannigan, Beauty, Donkey Skin. Let's take a look at the crane Ichabod one first. Ichabod Crane. He even owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under Donkey Skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Huh. Let's check out Donkey Skin. So that's why they were at her apartment and the woodsman's place. All right. Find anything? Not what I need. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. <laughs> the top hats. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. How do you mean they help people? Hmm. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh, yeah. All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. I'm sure they're great guys. I like the chess set, gotta say. You can imagine, it's kind of funny. You got the two of them on either side. You know, the paint is a little different. You got that. So he, these are their three little hats. I guess he, they have a set of hats too. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh man, that's funny. And they got their little, ah, they got their little basket too. That's hilarious. Two clocks. That's so funny. But yeah, the chess set, you know, I can imagine them couple of detectives just sort of testing their logic skills. Okay, so we might as well check out the inbox here, see what this is all about. What's going on here? Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Oh my God, what a waste. <laughs> actually nailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything, anything of interest anyways. They're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. 
I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. It's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Okay, I don't know how many more tries we're going to get here. Because this guy is really getting on our case. Is that a box? In, bo in box. Oh, okay. It's a, it's not even a box. Lollipops. Don't need that. Yeah, he is always chewing on a lollipop. I forgot about that. Okay, well. Eh, a cigar box, maybe. I feel like he just chews on cigars, but let's just check this inbox. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely. Fuck! It's a couple of freaks. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. Hmm. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. Has to be getting frustrated. Why would there be anything? Because to... they're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns, hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your Oh man. You wanna know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm i I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I I I, I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? You know, we had to spill the beans to him. He's a little, he's naive. He's one of the options. I should have chosen him. I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Oh, shit. Okay. Man, should have done the freaking cigar box. The lollipops threw me off because I was like, okay, he's got the lollipops, he's got the cigars, right? So I didn't think much of it. Those stupid letters. <laughs> okay, let's just get in there. Secret door action. I love secret doors. What is this, like Iron Man? Or in, uh,. Avengers 2. He's like, please be a secret door. Please be a secret door. Yay! Alright. This is where the real shit happens. Wow. Is that gold? Bullets? Maybe that's to make bullets. Let's check these ones. Two crooked. For your collection. What is that? Fuck. No idea. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. Yeah, okay. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Yeah. Anything about Crane or the witch he was using. Something. I love Flycatcher. He's hilarious. Yeah, like, I love his design and I just, he's just a nice dude. Like, there's so many assholes in this game. And he just seems like a, just a generally nice dude. Just trying to do his job. Hold for BCW. Hmm. Mushroom. I guess they're going to have a trip at some point. Let's just look through everything. AD. A book. Hmm. This doesn't really tell us much. 
let's open it up. Bigby, what are you doing? Check this one. Oh, wait. Butcher. ASAP. What is this stuff? Okay, it's got to be that instant coffee can because it says ASAP. Crooked man, yeah. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. There we go. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Mm. We don't need money. We don't need that shit. You're behind. I don't want them to like notice is that, that what it's you needed? gone. I don't think so. But it's interesting. There's more going on here. Still need to find that witch, though. Hmm. Is there something else in there? Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Aww. Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Yeah. Really? That would be... Thank you. Oh, man. Poor guy. It's Snow's hair. Yikes. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. There we go. We got a name. Which Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Greenleaf A G. Yes, this is it. Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Bart. Business office? I know who she is. Yes. Hey gang, thanks for watching another awesome Wind Whirler video. We've got a few more episodes of this uh, let's play to come out, so stay tuned. Just remember to like the video if you like the video, share this with your friends, get it out there. Um, this is a really fun game and if you haven't heard of this, maybe, or if they haven't heard of it, then you can kind of give them a little brief on it with this Let's Play. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, we're not trying to uh, master this game, we're just trying to do a little entertainment here. So we appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, just comment, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything about my Let's Playing I could improve, you know, a little more energy or maybe better, quicker cuts, if you want these videos to be shorter or longer, just let me know, I, I can kind of play around with it, uh, you know, so ring the bell if you want instant notifications for when my videos come out, and uh, subscribe if you love this, and happy Halloween!